Hello YouTube and welcome to this video. How am I speaking with my hands? What is the meaning of life? And why am I not phasing through the floor? Well, I can answer the first of those questions and it all starts with a plan. Here's the plan. We're gonna take this muscular buff man over here and strap him up to a live circuit. What is More that? specifically, a muscle sensing circuit, which is thing number one. Muscle man is going to make a gesture, and this gesture gets spit off to some artificial intelligence, which is going to be like, how he was doing his movement, and this means that I've got to spit out this certain word. That system is the second thing. Finally, that word gets thrown to some loud ass speakers, which are my third thing, effectively turning the movement I made into a vocal word that everybody can hear. So this mess of wires here is the circuit I and essentially what it does is it takes a really weak signal from your very human body and amplifies it in a noise free way or trying to reduce as much noise as possible from the body. In order for it to do that you need to make a live connection between your body and the circuit itself which questionably is it safe? Mm, I know it's safe because I've used it on myself before but uh, in the three weeks I was testing this thing while I was actually building it in the first place, eh, it definitely, definitely fringed on, a, <laughs> on the whole uh, safety aspect. But it works, and this is what the signal actually looks like. I've covered what this actually means in another video, so if you want like an explanation or anything, just leave a comment and I will happily, I will happily explain. I'm a total nerd. Now we've got the most complicated hardware out of the way, let's move on to software. Hey, hey, don't, don't look away now. Code is cool. I'm gonna talk about it for like max 20 seconds. This is a classification script. And essentially what it does is it takes a crap ton of data that I get from making loads of gestures with my muscle sensor, and then it extracts features on that specific data set. And any new data I give the system, i.e. when I make a gesture of my choice, needs to conform to the old data so that it can perform this exact same analysis on it for every single piece of data that it gets. What it can then do is it can then label that gesture. Now this is just for two gestures. I want to make seven gestures, which means I need to do a crap ton of data collection, which is funner, I promise you. Beware, not the one with a thousand different moves, but the one who a single gesture improves. In his simplicity, a universe is found or in focused repetition, profound wisdom is bound. Psych! Yeah, so this is actually what it looks like. It is mind-numbingly boring. So, uh, part three, let's go! My, you're a tall one! For the speaker and integration section, I obviously need a big-ass pair of speakers. These are probably a little bit overkill. I don't know if the sound's gonna capture super well, but... <laughs> they, they're, they are ridiculously loud. Good thing is we can now go to integration and we'll integrate these boys into our system! Four. By combining parts one of the project and parts two of the system, what I can do is I can create this system that knows what gesture I'm making and then tells me what gesture I'm making. So, when I click, for example, it should tell me I clicked. Now let's do the welcome gesture. No. Oh. The welcome gesture. Okay, yeah. Uh, now let's do the hello gesture. Okay, uh, yeah. So it's working with some sort of accuracy associated with it. Uh, I'll probably fine tune the parameters a little bit, but yeah. Now finally, if every single little bit of this system is working as intended, when I snap my fingers, those speakers should speak to me. <gasps> low, oh low. yes. Okay, a little bit of double input there, but hell yes, hell yes. Low. Oh my god, this is so weird. Low. So cool. Uh, low. Do you have an ever increasing pile of work to do? Do you have a 35 page control systems report due in three days? Do you wish you had a helping hand? Well now, with the pulse initiated stereo system, you can receive helpful equations on the fly. Who needs to remember this mumbo jumbo? 
Just snap your fingers and hear that equation in real time. What is that? What, what is that? What is that? Math? No problem for the piss. Just don't ask more than one question because, uh, you know, you've got to do some thinking for yourself. That definitely isn't the system. The solution to this equation is T. But that, that's not all. It does music too. Just load up your favorite tracks, such as copyright free track one. And also get a load of copyright free track two. Remember when I said this? Now this is just for two gestures. I wanna make seven gestures, but up until now I've only really used four gestures. So why not use the other three? It's because of the way I program the AI and the data that I use. It collects data over a second, which is good because you get really fast response times. But the bad news is it's hard to distinguish between each one of these gestures. The four that I use are just the ones that tend to distinguish the best. But when I made a model using six gestures, so not even using all seven, the accuracies were really pretty crap. Basically, you were basically guessing for some of the gestures. On that note, I'm gonna go make dinner now because I'm starving and I'm gonna use the piss to help me. I've picked up some ingredients for a pepper chicken meal, but just can't remember the recipe. The good thing is I've recorded the steps on the piss, so let's get cooking. So I've had to improvise to get this working a little bit. You guys are now hearing outside of these headphones instead of the speakers, and I'm literally just gonna chuck the mic right over here. All right, what was step one? With step one completed, let's move on to step two. Step two, season the chicken and cut the peppers and mushrooms. Is that my plan? Step number three. Okay. All right, finally, now for part four. Okay. Like the good flatmate I am, while step four was taking place, I cleaned up after myself. Cause uh... Look at the mess! Thank you for 500 subs guys, uh, 500 plus subs now, uh, it means a lot, and uh, that's a lot of people, so uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one, goodbye.